Juggling So you've probably catch a glimpse of circus or street performers tossing multiple objects or props as they are known over their heads, seemingly defying gravity with their sharp hand-eye coordination and lightning fast skilled hands. You probably know of the act as well, more commonly as juggling why it's almost synonymous with live entertainment. Circuses, casinos, magic shows, and even street performance. Sometimes the props are simply balls or pins, but it can also get a little extreme with knives, flaming objects, and the like. The act itself has been around for quite some time now, and quite literally, has been entertaining audiences for thousands of years now. Archaeological and historical evidence points to a colorful history of juggling, dating back to as far as 2000 BC, in ancient civilizations found in Egypt and Mexico. Then it spread to other parts of the world, like China and even Rome. Juggling declined a bit during the Middle Ages, as jugglers were mistakenly lumped in with magicians who were often accused of witchcraft at the time. Juggling eventually saw its resurgence around the 17 to 1800s due to rise in popularity of traveling circuses and vaudeville entertainment. But what's the secret to making objects seemingly fly? Well, actually, juggling is as much physics as it is skill. Of course, the most obvious yet seemingly contradictory factor to juggling is gravity itself. Think about it. Without gravity, props thrown into the air will continue floating, and there will be nothing left to catch and juggle. The juggler's skill in handling the props comes from lots and lots of practice. Notice how the jugglers always look at the props thrown in the air, as if they are counting and timing the fall of each prop. Well, that's exactly what they are doing. And the most talented jugglers put in years and years of practice into mastering their craft. Throwing props at just the right angle. Memorizing patterns of throws and catches as well as anticipating prop trajectory. All in the name of sport and entertainment. Of course, you can try it at home as well. But be sure to do it in a safe and open space. So here are some basic tips for starters. First, the prop selection is important. You want something light but at the same time with as less bounce as possible. Beginners will usually begin with bean bag balls. As always, start with one prop and continue adding in as you get more comfortable. The first exercise is just to throw a single ball in an arc just at the top of the head from left to right and right to left, just to get the feel of the ball. Eye contact with the ball is also part of the exercise. This helps build coordination and motor skills. If you're ready, then it's time for two balls. Now this time, one ball is on each hand. One is thrown first and while in midair, the next one is thrown from the other hand and vice versa. Then comes three balls. Start with two balls on one hand and one on the other. The hand with two balls starts first, throwing a ball midair. Now it's a matter of integrating the third ball into the mix. Don't worry if some of the balls fall. That's what practice is for and with a little time and effort, 
you'll be juggling in no time.